Welcome to Row J, TJC's monthly talk show about everything Jewish in the theater world. I'm your host, Meredith Gansman, coming to you from Queen of the Night at the Diamond Horseshoe in the Paramount Hotel. We have a great show for you on our season two premiere. Here's what's coming up. Broadway is back in season and we're introducing you to one of the first musicals opening this fall, the Broadway revival of Spring Awakening. Joining Ro J in studio is Hand to God Tony Award nominee Stephen Boyer. Set designer David Corins shows me how he creates the stages for your favorite Broadway shows. At the Ro J Roundtable, we're discussing this month's most exciting new plays and then we're asking a special question of the month at the opening night of Hamilton. The first Broadway revival of the musical Spring Awakening is now playing at the Brooks Atkinson Theatre with an entirely new spin. I caught up with the cast and creatives. This is a number from the upcoming Broadway revival of Spring Awakening. Unlike the original 2007 Tony Award winning production, the revival integrates American Sign Language into the very fabric of the musical. I don't think truly that this is your typical revival. It's, it's, it's not just doing the show again in a, a fun or even just interesting way. It's an entirely new story. Based on the 1891 play by Frank V. DeKind, Spring Awakening is a coming of age story about teenagers discovering their sexuality. This version transferred from the Los Angeles-based deaf theater company, Deaf West. Some of those teenagers are also deaf, and the story is set after the first international conference of deaf educators in Milan, Italy, which banned the use of sign language in schools. It was a really dark time in deaf culture. Deaf students weren't allowed to learn or use sign language. So imagine being stripped of language altogether. The use of sign language and the setting within the deaf community makes even more explicit the musical's themes. Book writer Steven Sater says, It's always been about a culture that's deaf to what's going on in the hearts and minds of its young people. To see that brought forth, to see the words turned into movement, in the words I wrote, you know, in the, in the privacy of my own heart, and to see them danced in front of people and made into um, gesture. It's really, it's really evocative, it's really affecting for me. The cast is a mix of deaf and hearing actors. And the lyrics and lines are both sung, spoken, and signed. American Sign Language is a very popular language right now. It's one of the top languages being learned in the world today. So for people to see it, actually witness it on stage, is going to be incredible. Even the dancing incorporates sign language, says choreographer Spencer Lipp. When you are deaf, you only have your body and your face to express yourself. And so you are performing it at all times. And when I watch them move, there is such inner beauty and like you see right into their souls. But the multilingual approach has its challenges, says deaf actor Daniel N. Durant, who plays Moritz. My challenge is the music because I'm completely deaf. I don't hear anything at all. So I. I really, uh, I, need to, I need cues to really help me, so I depend on cues, and it's been quite a challenge, you know. You don't want, you, you have to like fit the music, the singing, the lyrics, so that's been the biggest challenge to make sure that we stay on a parallel. It's almost like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. I've got two different languages happening at the same time that convey the image, the feeling, and the rhythm of the music. For both the deaf actors adapting to performing with music and hearing actors learning American Sign Language, the project has been about stepping out of comfort zones, especially for Cameron Mannheim and Marley Matlin, who are both making their Broadway debuts with Springer Awakening. We are afraid. <laughs> We're scared. Very, very afraid. No, but very, very proud Jewish women on Broadway. Emmy Award winner Cameron Mannheim plays the adult women, alongside Academy Award winner Marley Matlin, who plays Melchior's mother, Fanny Gabor. I am a Broadway geek of epic proportions. I have worked in almost every off-Broadway theater in this town, but never on Broadway on the stage. I worked on Broadway as a bartender 
in the same theater that we will be performing in. And my love of this language, which I learned when I was much younger and I'm fluent in sign language. So to be able to use this beautiful language, use my love of theater, be back, and then doing a story like this in a play like this, the whole thing is just magnificent for me. Spring Awakening begins performances on Broadway on September 27th with a limited run at the Brooks Atkinson Theater.